NASA has recently selected three companies to develop human landers for the Artemis program. I was surprised that some do not understand the gravity of this project fully, so I thought I should talk about it. From a space perspective, why this program is unique and quite exciting, and from SpaceX perspective, why this is important for SpaceX strategies. In a nutshell, Artemis program aims at sending Americans back to the moon and trying to build a sustainable base on it. This involves a lot of agencies, companies, and technologies to work. And this new announcement made for human landers is an important part of it. Over the years, I had my doubts for programs such as the Space Launch System. I thought it was a legacy program that is too costly considering what SpaceX is able to do with its reusable system. But it's not up to me. And these programs do employ quite many people, so there are so these are the complications. That's partially the reason why three companies were chosen this time to develop human landing systems, so that NASA has more options to fall back on in case one fails. Blue Origin of Washington, the Natics of Alabama, and of course, SpaceX. But there is another name for the Blue Origin team. It's called the National Team because it involves technologies by Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman, and so on. Dynatics will also be working with Sierra Nevada Corporation to develop its own landing systems. So really, the most innovative company in this list is SpaceX. And to be frank, SpaceX also has the most challenging mountain to climb. It is to complete the whole Starship and Super Heavy architecture. Ironically, SpaceX is also awarded the least amount of money among the three. I'll talk about this a little bit more in the end. From SpaceX's perspective, this announcement is a big confidence vote by NASA. This shows that NASA sees a future with Starship and Super Heavy and is willing to put money into it. Although there's no guarantee that this aspiration for Starship will be fully realized, it is going to be worked on and it is going to be very powerful. Otherwise, it would not be awarded over $100 million. This put the entire Starship project on a more grounded trajectory. I like it a lot. And this ties back to SpaceX strategic businesses. There are two of them. Starlink, that will be a service business sending communication signals down to Earth, and SpaceX traditional launch businesses that are being carried out by Falcon 9 for now. Starship being a more capable launch vehicle is an important next step for SpaceX to expand these two businesses. On top of that, Starship will also unlock Mars aspirations, which at the moment is not economically viable, but it could be with Starship. This new announcement plays a big part in that. The second benefit is for resupply missions to the moon. Although Artemis architecture is not yet complete, there is a big vacuum to fill. In March, SpaceX was chosen as the first US commercial provider under Gateway Logistics Services contract to deliver cargo, experiments, and other supplies to the agency's gateway in lunar orbit. Gateway is a planned space station orbiting the moon, basically a downsized international space station for the moon. The original plan is to send cargo trips to the Gateway with Falcon Heavy, but that's what makes this new announcement interesting. NASA's support opens door for more funding for SpaceX in the future to develop Starship, and once Starship is ready, it could replace Falcon Heavy for resupply missions. And more importantly, this will make SpaceX a more integral part of the Artemis program. That could mean tens of billions of dollars in revenue in the future. I want to stress this. We know how slowly NASA projects move. If, for example, the Space Launch System or other part of the program fails to perform or misses their deadline again, SpaceX could be tasked with more important projects, provided that Starship and Super Heavy is proven to be more reliable and more cost-effective than its competitors. And when that happens, I have no doubt that billions of dollars will be awarded to SpaceX. Lastly, one of the things all of us care about is the timeline. Is 2024 a reasonable timeline for human landing on the moon? At the current pace, it is quite hard, especially with the virus outbreak. The space launch system is already suspended. It is projected to cost NASA $18 billion before it's even launched. It is a powerful rocket, I get that, but from a commercial perspective, it is really a questionable investment. What's worse is that the Space Launch System is a critical part of Artemis program without a clear alternative. That is the reality. Starship could spell the end to this reality. Considering this new announcement showing NASA's support for Starship and Super Heavy, I think NASA is serious when it comes to the possibility of using other vehicles for lunar missions, and this is a very exciting possibility.
All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.